The story of the P-51 Mustang begins with North American aviation applying innovative ideas as to what a military fighter could be, and ends with an aircraft that forever changed aviation history. In 1940, the British Purchasing Commission approached North American with a request to have them license build the Curtis P-40 Tomahawk. North American countered that they could build a better aircraft that would outperform the P-40. Just four months later, the prototype in A-73X, true to the promise, was faster, more powerful, and more agile than any previous fighter aircraft. The aircraft featured a lightweight, aerodynamic design. Laminar flow wings delayed the onset of turbulent air. The radiator was positioned beneath the fuselage and farther back to reduce drag. These features helped provide greater range. The 1,150 horsepower liquid-cooled Allison engine with a single-stage supercharger gave the aircraft excellent speed and performance under 20,000 feet. The early machines were afflicted with aerodynamic problems that increased drag and led to fuel starvation. Later redesigns of the radiator and carburetor ram air scoop solved those problems, and the first production model was delivered to the RAF in October 1942. Meanwhile, the Army Air Corps received its first XP-51 on August 24, 1941. However, the U.S. Army Air Force's use-off fighter budget outlook was grim, and it looked like the type would be stillborn, so NAA executives and their use-off counterparts conspired to fund the aircraft under the attack budget. Accordingly, bomb racks and dive brakes were added, and the Mustang became the A-36, thus keeping the production line open. On August 24, 1942, 1,200A-99 versions were ordered by the USAAF and designated P-51 as. The first P-51A flew on February 3, 1943, and the first deliveries began the following month. In 1942, the British put the aircraft, now dubbed Mustang, into service as a ground attack and photo reconnaissance platform. The Royal Air Force approached North American Aviation to build P-40 Warhawks under license from Curtis. North American believed they could build a better fighter for the British, and the first NA-73X prototype was flown on October 26, 1940, from Minesfield, now Los Angeles International Airport. The airframe had been completed in a remarkable 102 days. They were the first aircraft to sortie over occupied Europe seeking ground targets, and even ventured from England into Germany for photo recon work. The United States Army initially saw the Mustang as a British project, and took little interest. Its performance under fire changed opinion. Soon USAF reconnaissance P-51s F-6A were deployed to North Africa. A dive bomber variant A-36 served in the Mediterranean and China-Burma-India theaters. The P-51A was the first version used as a fighter. With four 0.50-inch machine guns and a more powerful Allison engine, it was suited for low-altitude missions, including ground strafing, low-level bombing, and rocket launches. P-51 is served in all theaters of the war, with most seeing action in China-Burma-India. The aircraft would be in service until war's end in 1945. The museum's P-51A was part of the third and final production block of P-51A aircraft built in Inglewood, California. It was the 249th out of 310 P-51A built. Painted in instructional black and yellow, the aircraft was routed to the Grand Central Airport Company in Glendale, California. 
They used it at their Calero Technical Institute to train aircraft technicians, mechanics, and engineers. Acquired by the museum in 1953, it was fully restored in August 1981. It is currently the only authentic and original P-51A aircraft flying. Specifications Average cost in 1942 $58,698 Length 32 FT.3.5 in Number remaining P-51 all types 250 plus 160 plus fly P remaining layer Wingspan 37 FT.0 in Height 12 feet 2 in Wing area 233 square feet Weight empty 6.433 pounds. Maximum takeoff F weight 10.600 pounds. Performance Power plant 1 Ellison V1710 81. 2 cylinder inline piston engine. Output 1.200 HP. Maximum speed 409 miles per hour. Cruise speed 276 miles per hour. Combat range 750 miles ferry range 2700 miles with iso gallon drop tanks service ceiling 31350 feet armament glens flr 050 in wing mounted machine guns 1260 rounds bomb load up to idulps ald 645 in mb rockets Están como yo, como un pincho verde que quiere meter.